Hello, my name is Kaylee Petrie. I'm a current Sterling College senior. Hey, it's Sterling. It's Anna Darcy. Hi, I'm Mason Rich. I'm Julianne DeRee. Hi, Sterling College. So my name is Sage Biedenbender. Hi, my name is Jojo Maxwell. Okay, hi, I'm Marsha Gerbitz. Hi, my name is Patty. In 2016, I went to my cousin's graduation, which was at Sterling, and I just fell in love with it. Sterling is like a world within another world. It's it's like Narnia. When I walked on that campus, I knew that's, that's where God wanted me to go, and that's where I went, and that's where I'm graduating. So I chose to go to Sterling because I absolutely fell in love with the town. I saw that they had a lake, and then the ice cream place, I was like, oh, this is the best thing on earth. So I told myself, I'm gonna live here one day. Then I found out there was a college, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to that college. Surprise, came in the mail, I was accepted, and that was like the happiest thing ever. It was one of my dreams, so I was like, yes, let's do this. Yeah. Um, when we decided to come to Sterling, honestly, it was just the atmosphere. As soon as I stepped on campus, I felt very welcome. Everybody was so caring, so nice, and as soon as I got there, it, it just felt like home. I originally chose Sterling College because I had been connected with the women's basketball team. I had got to hang out with them a lot and I ended up being a part of the team my first two years. Sterling had just become a place where I visited a lot and I got to meet a lot of the students and I just really loved the connection that I saw there. I'm really glad that I chose to go to a smaller college rather than a bigger school because it gave me the opportunity to connect with a lot of really different people and get closer to my fellow students. One of the reasons why I came to choose Sterling College was because my older brother Matt, he would always come over to our house um, with his friends for movie nights, for game night, or just for snacks or whatever. Um, and I got to see kind of a fellowship that was there, that community, and I wanted to be a part of that. What made me decide to come to Sterling was really the fact that it felt like home. I just knew that's where I needed to be. I didn't really think too much about college when I was in high school until one of the recruiters from Sterling came out to my high school my senior year and she came and she talked to me about doing theater and music there and I just remember thinking how cool it was that they were willing to send somebody all the way out from Kansas to California to come talk to me about college and I think that's probably the biggest reason why I decided to come to Sterling. I originally was not planning to go to college. I was just gonna go into the workforce. Then I got a letter in the mail um, from Sterling and I was like, what? Like, I've never even heard of this college. Like, does it even exist? Is it a scam? Me and my dad went down. And I had a one-on-one -on -one right off the bat with my counselor. My name was written on the chalkboard in the admissions office. That was when I noticed that Sterling is personable. The people at Sterling care about you. And that's why I chose Sterling College is because the people here are amazing. They want you to succeed. Everyone at Sterling pushes you and sees the potential in you. And that's why I chose Sterling. But I think my favorite memory would have to be when I went to London with a musical theater interterm class in January. I mean, I'm a history major with a theater minor. It was the most magical experience I probably could have experienced in my 22 years of life. I mean, I got to walk where Shakespeare walked. I mean, that was the most perfect combination of theater and history that my little heart could handle. As far as my favorite memory from being at Sterling goes, it would have been when I went to China in the summer of 2018. Because of our chaplain at the time, who was um, Christian Dashiel, I was so passionate about it. Um, Christian knew, and he set me down. He's like, do you really want to go? Like, how passionate? And I was like, this is something that I really want to do. It's something that I think I need to do. And he said, okay, well, there's somebody that I know that would sponsor you. And lo and behold, that person did sponsor me and paid for the whole thing for me. It kind of showed me that there is, there are people out there who, despite all odds, will always try to help another person. During homecoming week, every day, uh, the SGA cabinet members, we would sit in the office and we would just talk and hang out. It just felt so rewarding accomplishing something together. Some of my favorite memories have just been the energy at sporting games, just being part of the student crowd, and just like all the spontaneous um, small trips that I would take with my friends, whether it was to get donuts at like midnight or whatever. I'm just a really big fan of like 
being with other people and making memories that way. Probably one of my favorite memories at Sterling was being a part of the Donut Club, being part of like that first year to start a new club with people like Liz Harrington and Brandon Peterson um, and Amanda Hood and Cassidy Peterbaugh as well. And that was a great time. It was like, I think it was during interterm when I first got, first got to campus in 2019 and it had snowed um, so much and we were so determined to have a snow day that somebody texted the uh, President Rich and uh, we're like, what, what do we have to do to have classes canceled? And he said the servant leader statue would need to be covered. And so a group of us just went and buried that thing in um, snow and I didn't have gloves on and I think my hands were like numb for the next five hours, but um, it was such a good time and we had a snowball fight and I just really got to meet a couple other people that I hadn't already met. So that's probably my favorite memory. I think my, my favorite memory of Sterling has to be one of my more recent ones. I was just about to perform my senior showcase about maybe about a month ago. And I just remember we were all sitting in the, in the green room backstage, just getting ready to go on stage. And I remember just sitting there with all my friends and just feeling so grateful that I had that moment to just like sit with them and really appreciate that they were all just there to help me and support me and be there for me. I grew a lot academically. My whole life I was never really academically challenged. Um, I didn't really have to try to get straight A's, it just happened. Now in college all of a sudden I had to try and I just... I had to prove I was passionate for the job that I wanted and passionate for my degree. One thing that Sterling really taught me is that you always have learning to do. You always have growing to do, so you might as well be excited for it. When I first arrived, I was in a really dark place. My grandmother had died um, a couple months before I was supposed to move into Sterling. And she was my best friend. She was the light of my life. She motivated me to do everything and anything. and. When I lost her, it was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. I was angry at God and I was angry at everybody and I, I just didn't want anything to do with anybody. One of the first um, chapels that I went through talked about being angry at God and forgiving people who did you wrong and it hit me. And I remember at the end of it just crying my eyes out, feeling like I had just been shot in the chest with feelings and emotions. And at the time, Stephanie Moncada had came up to me and hugged me and prayed with me. She told me she was, you know, God's got you, you know, put it on him, don't carry it alone. And some really inspiring stuff like she does, if you know her, she's awesome, love her. When I got to Sterling, I had a new identity and I grew with my leadership because I said, you know what? People need help, people are feeling alone, people feel they don't fit in or whatever, and somebody needed to be there for them. I took it into account that I would be there for people and I would be a shoulder for them to cry on, um, a smile to put on their face, whatever. And that's how I grew with my leadership. One of the biggest one would be my leadership skills. As soon as I got to Sterling, I already had a job as a student ambassador. I was in CAV, and then I was in SGA, and then I was also a visits assistant for admissions as well. It just helped me kind of get out of my comfort zone. It's changed my mind completely on what it means to get involved, because sometimes you think like, oh, I need to do something huge, you know, to to like help people and stuff like that. But honestly, just participating in little things and getting involved in general um, is just a great way to like do ministry and um, other things as well. Sterling really gave me the opportunity to grow in building relationships with people. Um, I love that I was able to make friendships with all kinds of people, being athletes and theater students and art students and just um, that kind of community was really awesome for me. Sometimes like you grow up in this like, like the same community um, and going to college you get to see new and different people, people who are completely different than you. Um, so it was a really great opportunity for me to get to know them. And I'm really grateful that the Lord allowed me to grow in my love for them. He allowed me to grow in my love for the church, my appreciation for that community of believers. It's an incredible gift. 
the teachers are more open to talk about their faith and I think that just kind of challenged me to be more open with my faith and I just felt more comfortable as well. It was just a comfort to know that the faculty and staff here um, love the Lord and, and they want they want the students to, to love the Lord as well. No matter how, what happens with the world, I will still always love Sterling because it, it is what set me off on my dream. It's what set me off into the real world. I went ahead and moved to where my graduate school is at the University of Central Oklahoma and I am pursuing a Master's of Arts in Museum Studies. Then I would like to apply that degree, try museum exhibition design, uh, maybe eventually get a PhD and be a museum director, who knows? However, the first step to that dream was getting my bachelor's of history at Sterling College. So for future plans, I'm still a little unsure. Last summer, I spent working at Reno County Correctional Facility, and then I was supposed to be shadowing social workers at St. Francis Ministries in Hutchison. I will be going to get my master's, but I think I might take some time off to pay back loans, save up, and start to work, because if I do choose to do social working, they would help pitch in to pay to further my education, which is amazing. But I know that God's got me, and no matter what, I will be okay. I plan to uh, start my master's here in the fall um, in psychology. I also want to get a job at a mental health clinic in Dodge City as well. So I'm going to graduate and I want to move to Hutch um, and hopefully find a job. And in that, um, I'd love to pursue ministry, um, maybe being a pastor, maybe not. But I'm excited for the future um, to see what the Lord does with me. And I'm excited for um, just to see what he does in my friends' lives as well. Um, I know he's faithful, and I know he's good. I'm graduated with a business major, and so eventually um, a dream of mine is to have my own small bakery or like coffee shop. I really feel like the Lord is drawing me to um, work with kids. I'm really just excited to see how the Lord brings those two together or decides to lead me in one over the other or completely different. And it could be something completely different. And so I encourage you guys just hold fast and love the Lord because eternity is the only thing that matters. Thank you guys. And I'll see you at graduation, I suppose. Thanks. Bye. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.